Alright guys, so to update, so there's not really much update for this, except that I, I have installed in a lock, so in order to open this properly, since they're on this, on the mailbox lock, we cannot take out the key, you have to uh, first open this, and this one you can take the key out in the open position, then go ahead and Insert the key into the mailbox one, and now it can open. So I still have these token um, mech placements here. That tells you the price. I have not gotten this one. I haven't gotten the another currency. Um, haven't got another currency here at the moment. So, so right now this is not wise. So this will just be like a donation spot where you just insert a token and just donates, uh, basically. But I'm also gonna put. Uh, I'm also probably gonna program this to also accept quarters as well, besides tokens. So besides uh, tokens, quarters will also get accepted. So that way I'll get uh, some profit out of it. Um, this one here still works. You can see it sends a pulse. Uh, how it does it though is that when you insert the coin, it goes through this unique mechanism, and then see this rod here. It then uh, goes ahead and flicks this. I can show you, I can show you, uh, in action. See how that flick? And it, and it does send close, so it just closes the circuit to what, the, that this conversation can, uh, recognize. But, uh, those toy conversations that has, a, uh, that uses, uh, tokens that go into the slot will actually read pulses from this type of coin scepter. It actually uh, does accept pulses here. I know I don't have it connected, but it does. So when so when this goes through, it does indeed detect um, that does indeed detect the pulse. This one here, of course, just had to be played. This one, this one you can't even do if you play on this one here. Just simply flick this to get free plays. So just flick that. So if you're the owner, you just flick that microchip to uh, get a play, and but when people go ahead and set the token, goes through and flicks this microchip in particular. So, and uh, this one's not wired yet, but this one here, how it works is that just there's a sensor be behind this one here, and exactly you see the wire. Uh, when you insert it, it's trying. It first off measures. The size it has to do really fast. Measure the size, and then this solenoid uh, pops out to let the coin go completely through. Uh, like it, it go it deploys out so that the coin goes through, or else if that wasn't plugged in, this would have gotten rejected all the time. So, um, of course. I'm going to put some court. I'm I'm going to uh, make this also a court as well, since this is a three coin unit. And on a three coin unit, it's not like a coin, uh, coin compare comparator, which you put in a example coin into here. This in here actually does unique coding here. So let's think of it. So right here uh, is the how you program it. So if you hold this, it's, that's a programming of how many uh, of the sample coins to program the coins to know which coin. And then if you hold these two and then hold this, this is how you uh, set up the coin acceptor to set up to uh, one, two, three types of coins. Of course, I only have it set to one co to accept one coin right, right at the moment. Uh, this one needs to be plugged in to the power supply there, but this one here does not need to plug into any power source. This one's just plugged into this one here. So it just plugged into this one, so that's how it works. So if I switch this off and show you that, it still does work. So you went through again. So if I go ahead and plug this cable, from it now now if you go over here so since it's not on the solar would not work and the sensors will not work because there's no power 
So this would just happen. It it will constantly get rejected. So let me show you that uh, in action here. So I'm using an iPad, so it's kind of hard to use this. But uh, see that coin just pass through. So basically, nothing has changed really on this except that I have added I have added a mirror box sign on the the latch on here can come loose which I don't like I don't know why but it does come loose so of course when you lock you have to you have to first lock the mailbox lock because you can't take it out and open this is it of course and then put is it the key and then just close it now uh I almost forgot to show you something let me Right, kids again. Um, you probably are wondering on here. You probably are wondering why I have got oh, I forgot that going back. Why, why I have gotten a ramp. Uh, let me plug this back in. Do you hear a beep though? So I need to plug this back in. So you go back in. See a beep. Uh, the reason I have a ramp here is so that the coins that come out of come out of here get filtered into here because sometimes what actually happens is that sometimes the coins fall through this part here because I don't want to do that so I create my own ramp so when the coins when the coin just drops it slides right into the coin uh, box so let me do that again So let's actually do it from the top. See, it slides right into there. So uh, the toy taxi one has a similar one, except the ramp was coming from here into a coin box. Um, and if it without the sound on on Cruzen's uh, channel, you can act when when they were inserting uh, quarters. When you insert this, you can actually hear the coin hitting the ramp. And it's sliding into the box, uh, and then you can hear it uh, dropping into the bank. So that's basically how um, coin, max, uh, coin acceptors work, kind of. This one here is the three coin unit, King three coin unit. Uh, the compa I do have a there is a uh, comparator one where it compares sample coins simply, and then once when so once when the right coin goes through, it just drops, spits it here, and sends a pulse. Uh, to the machine. Um, now on Keymaster, they do have the same type of compare to coin acceptor, but sometimes you can actually see Coimax on them. This is really, really rare. Uh, you can see Coimax on them that uh, I don't know how it's uh, how it's adjusted to accept tokens and quarters. Is that when you insert it, instead of doing that uh, slide noise, you do like the sound like this, kind of, but it will sound a bit different, I believe. I never actually uh, experimented with it. The more coins I see are the compared ones. Now the reject, reject thing on the what is this one? It's a lever. Whereas this one here is a full arm button. Just a full arm button. So that um in case so a lot of a lot of idiots which so if they see a Call machine that, that takes uh, two tokens and then they see this, they most likely will uh, put the tokens uh, side by side and then just put it into the machine and then it's just gonna jam in there. They're just gonna jam in there and it's not gonna do anything. So, this is why this is here to help you reject the stuck coin. Now, on the comparator one, if a coin gets stuck because it's too uh, big, you flick down the lever to reject it. Of course, with this one here, it just rejects the bigger size coins like dollar coins. Yeah, yeah, it just re it just rejects that size. But see, if you put it in, see, uh, let me show you what actually happens in here. You can see that coins are just stuck in there. And if you press this, you can see uh, this thing moving. If I can find a button. See, if I push this. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me put it on top down view. 
Come on. You can see that moving right there? So that's basically what happens when you press the reject slot. So if you put it if I put this in again, so set, most people will not know that's there until they uh, try to insert like this. And then the, and then they have to go ahead and push this. Now this is what happens when you push it. It just drops down into the rejection slot. So let's go ahead and put the two coins in again. So if you press this, you can see that coin drop. See? So basically that's how uh, this coin acceptor, uh, this is how you reject uh, stuck coins. Now it's kind of the same here when you're using a bigger coin. Some ch some uh, Chinese Yen coins actually do fit, do actually go through, but they get stuck on the magnet because it's made of iron. So let's see here. Sometimes it just does that, it just goes through like that. But if um if I would have put two tokens in here, of course it's stuck now. So if someone puts that in, see it's just stuck, doesn't go through. So you press this simply, and then they drop down to this uh, rejection door here. You can see the tokens there. So if if a coin gets stuck like on here, so this one here is similar to that one. So um, basically. Uh, this thing here, um, there's actually, if, you, if I, I, I don't want to take this out, but there's actually a red lever that when you push this, it touches that red lever, it uh, touches this black lever, you see that, how it opens, so if I go ahead and put in a token in here, it will get stuck, so if you'll put it in, and then, so normally, the right coin will go through here, it just dropped. The right coin will go through this slot. The rejected coin goes through that slot. So let's go ahead and put this back in again. So uh, let's let's push this and let's and you will see which slot come out. See? It came out of this slot here. So basically that's how a coin mac works with all that coins. So the small coins slide through and then the Bigger coins that are bigger than a token or a quarter would just uh, fall through. That's all. It just falls through. Actually, no. For a bigger coin, it would just get stuck. Um, it would just get stuck, and I, I it would just get stuck. And then, if people don't push the reject button, um, that's when the that's when the uh, normally on the iMonix roll down one, uh, if you put in a dollar coin, ooh, there goes th that one, just dropped there. But if you if you put in an if you put in dollar coin on iMonix one, it would just completely get stuck. Uh, won't it, and pushing this won't even reject it because I s I don't know what's going on with that, but the iMonix one I see on some uh, coin max would just get stuck and won't and won't let you reject it. Sometimes they will reject. Coins, but I hate all my harmonics ones because they uh, they use a, a roll down Mac, I believe. Um, they don't use a simple Mac where if it gets stuck, you just put stitch to reject it. So that's why I don't like about harmonics one. I don't like harmonics coin acceptors. Um, I just don't like harmonics ones. Just don't like them. Um, if you see harmonics coin acceptors. Better not put in dollar coins because they will get stuck and you won't be able to get it out and then and then you have to use the other Mac. If there's another Mac on a car machine. So always use the right type of coin. Because if you don't use the right type of coin, like if you, if you use a bigger coin of course, it will get stuck. But if you use a the right coin or if you use a small coin, the small coin will just will just fall into this rejection slot. So you have to you have to be pretty careful about while you're putting on iMonix coin acceptor. Um, I always see iMonix coin acceptors being used on uh, claw machines in Walmart. Uh, it's really, I don't like it. And basically, uh, use uh, coin mechanisms that have this replaceable one where, 
where it has a swapper one where you can swap between quarters to uh, tokens because that's the best uh, coin mech you should get the best one ever best coin mech you should get so that every time you use a, a big coin all it does is get stuck and then you press and reject the reject button and we reject it and yeah so always go for this type of mech don't go for an Imonix one because the Imonix one uh, I don't trust them because I put a dollar coin in by acting I believe and then what happened is uh, once I put in uh, more quarters it got jammed in there so what I think what the vendor had had to do is had to uh, unjam it somehow I didn't get my uh, quarters and dollar coins back when I when that happened but just just as a warning do not put in bigger coins other than quarters or if they take tokens because uh, you don't want your coin to get jammed in there, and then if you try to, like I, when I, whoops, when I, when I uh, try to do it, I, I uh, press this, didn't reject it. So that's it, and thanks for watching.